Hello everybody and welcome back to New Area Door. No worries, I won't stay in my sofa today because there's work that needs to be done. Last time we were at the Ocean Monument and we defeated the Elder Guardians. That was quite a hard job. But today we want to start constructing the farm over there so we can use all the nice new blocks. And um, therefore I gathered a lot of sand, I smelted it into glass because we want to make it in the outside out of glass pane so it will look quite nice as well even if you won't be able to see it because the FK point will be higher up. I guess you know uh, the design from the tutorial I made for a guardian farm but yeah there needs a lot to be done today because getting rid of the water would take up some time. But first up I wanted to show you what we did in between the episodes because Rika and me were busy. We had these chests here and they were just messy with all the stuff randomly spread out in my house and her house. And now they are all empty because we made a storage area, which is right here. And uh, this is a system I developed for storing our stuff now. Um, I had already, I guess two years ago, a starting a storage system because I like to have things organized. And I had my layout and that's uh, transformed with each update. And for the 1.8 update, I came out with, uh, I came uh, up with this layout here so I've got all my chests visible in place and since you can't put any blocks on signs anymore without shifting um, yeah you uh, can just have the signs there and can open the chests and take a look for example at the redstone chest or the ores and wow we've got some diamonds left here which is quite good um, I might need some for uh, some better armor I don't know um, but yeah, I guess that uh, we'll now get prepared, go over and start laying out the foundations for a guardian farm. So, see you over there. As you can see, we are at the ocean monument here. And uh, yeah, we just started laying out some things here. So we made in some pillars at the corners. And now we want to fill in the walls with glass panes. But yeah, this is again harder than expected. Uh, as you can see, my health. I'm already quite uh, damaged again and I don't have any health potions left and I should maybe eat something. Got one chicken. Wow, that's a lot. But um, yeah, we try to start down there. I'm getting targeted again. Um, stop it. <laughs> we, we started down there and we just got wrecked. Um, as soon as two or three are targeting you, you have no chance on escaping because they shoot you, you jump up because of the damage, then the next one shoots you, you jump up and they just keep it until you're dead and I said that I wanted to stay at 15 deaths, or first I said I wanted to stay at 0 deaths, then I stayed at 1 death, then I stayed at 2 deaths, then I had 15 deaths, then I had 18 deaths and now let's take a look. Oh, there's hot EMI. <laughs> Um, just waiting a second. That's the minutes played. Don't look at this. This is just too crazy. I uh, made a little bit of a calculation how much I really played here. Uh, but there you, you can see it. I'm now 20 deaths. Hopefully I will stay at 20 deaths now. And Rika also died three times now. Her first three deaths here at the Ocean Monument. But um, yeah, he, uh, she died for a uh, yeah better thing. For getting this farm up and running and... I guess the, the reason for me dying so often is because I'm doing stuff in the dangerous situations like the nether hub with the pigmen or now like here with the guardians that's just dangerous and uh, yeah I guess that our plan is now we, we laid down these glass panes here on the top and we want to make a ring as you can see back there out of solid blocks so we can just um, fill in some sand before you continue with the glass panes because if we have the sand filled in here from the top we can just walk like this. Uh, we can then go down from the outside and place all the glass panes because if we just go away and come back uh, there can't be any guardians outside because they just can spawn inside and it will be a bit more safe to place uh, the glass panes. So that's the plan now but I guess that that will take some time and maybe it will also take some death. I don't know but uh, I guess I'm getting tired. No, it's Rika. Uh, Ricky got shot. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, it will take some time to make this, but I guess that uh, I will just come back to you whenever there's something here to show you. 
All right, I'm back and take a look at the death screen. I didn't die until this clip anymore. So uh, this is going well now. We've got the sand in place here. So we've got wards that are going down to the bottom and we also got almost all the glass panes in place. We're still working on it and I'm joined by Niels, by Arrow and Echo somewhere around here too. And he might be recording here as well. Uh, so if you want to see more of this uh, ocean monument building, you might want to go to Echo2 since yeah, he's doing YouTube and uh, I really like his stuff. But yeah, the next steps will now be to finish the glass panes on the side. I just ran out so I thought that I just want to record a little bit of the progress here. And then we will con uh, start placing a wall at this place here. And if this is in place, we can remove this wall and place it instead over here, remove this one, place it here, and so on until we have all the water cleared out and then we can just remove the monument. Sounds like it's not a lot of work, but from how long this took me now placing in the ring of sand, I can tell this will take a long time, but we've got a few nice people here that are always helpful, so... Yeah, let's uh, continue, I'd say, and I'll be back then whenever something is done. So maybe in a few days. So see you then. When I stopped playing yesterday, this was kind of the point where we were. And I was then going and watched a little bit of TV because I had a long day with an exam. And I didn't feel like playing anymore, but I knew that uh, Blue Echo was continuing a little bit, uh, working on here. And uh, this morning then I logged in. And uh, Blue Echo was still here, or again, I don't know, he says he was again here, but I have the feeling he, is, he was still here, but don't tell him. Um, and uh, you now take a look at what he's done. This is just crazy, he came up to the half of the complete thing and he was doing it on his own, so yeah, quite crazy. And I really have to thank him uh, for this because I know how much work this is and doing it on your own it's quite tedious you don't have anybody to talk to but uh, yeah just wanted to show you uh, how far he got and if we take a look at the death screen uh, I've got 21 deaths now because uh, yesterday when we played uh, we had a one white uh, sand column on the other side was water I was walking here a guardian shot me without me noticing I fell off on the other side and yeah the 4 damage net and, uh, gave me the rest, so... Um, yeah, that's that uh, with the 20 deaths. Now, let's stick to 21, it's a nice number. Uh, I don't know. I guess I would just try to keep my deaths low, but... Um, maybe I should stop doing this uh, crazy stuff where it's so easy to die. And uh, yeah, I guess that I will just continue what uh, Blue Echo did here. And uh, working my way, trying to get over to the other side. And uh, yeah, let's see uh, what I can do about it. We ran out of sand now because Echo died a lot of times too and uh, he told me that he lost a lot of sand. And um, yeah, so we need a bit more sand. I guess it's about an inventory full of sand which I need to fill this up. Uh, because we also are not going for just one wall after one wall. We're doing it in... Uh, three thick walls and a two wide walkway so whenever this is filled up I will remove up to here so these two are still here to walk on so it's not that easy to fall off and yeah I guess uh, I will go now to the sand quarry and get some sand and there goes finally the rest of the sand if you take a look around this looks awesome and this took us quite some time. Let's just watch uh, the guys down there removing the last of the sand. I just finished filling the sand up top here and they were removing. So yeah, let's watch this beautiful, beautiful moment here. Oh wow, that was so much work getting all the water removed here. But I guess it was faster than if we had uh, done it with the sponges. So. Yeah, quite some sand. We'll take a look at the statistics in just a second. Uh, as soon as these last pillars here are gone, you can see them dropping down. Oh wow, what a beautiful view. And the last ones. Someone have space. The there we inventory. go. <laughs> and I guess Neil's inventory is full. So I put a chest uh, down for the sand here. Uh, yeah, uh, let's quickly take a look at the statistics. Um, 
So at the blocks, you can see for cent and its uh, times used, uh, 36,842 cent placed. I guess we need to remove a few because I placed some over there, but I just placed around 30,000 or 36,000 even cent here in this area. So that's quite crazy. And I guess the next step will be that we strip down the ocean monument from the top to the bottom. And therefore I will uh, position a camera account right here so we can uh, watch us doing that in a little time lapse. What a project this is. I have to say this was quite a lot of work but also quite a lot of fun being together with the others and doing this. I really enjoyed this and the result speaks for itself I guess. We've got now uh, the water all cleared up to the wall. We decided just to leave in water and I guess it's a wise decision since we want to build something up top and it is quite possible that I might fall down. So yeah, this is how it looks now and I think that we won't start the Guardian Farm just now because I need a little break of this project and maybe you need one too. But um, yeah, I'm quite happy with uh, how this turned out. I already took a look at the sped up footage. It was like two hours of footage uh, now compressed to one and a half minutes I think. And uh, yeah, I th think it looks really great. It already looked uh, quite cool just by the normal speed on my second screen. I uh, saw uh, how we all ran around and clearing out stuff. Especially the room with the waters was so much work because we always got shot and uh, really had to be careful to not die. And I guess, uh, I can't remember if Nils was the only one who died, but... Um, he died um, uh, to the Guardians and since then I was even more careful and I'm still at the 21. Right now there are quite a lot of people on the server so while we're swimming over here let's take a look at the minutes played. You can see this went up again so you can really imagine how much time is going into this but yeah I'm still at 21. And uh, now I think since I'm level 33 we could do two enchantments and also take a look at spawn quickly. Because this has changed quite a lot too, and now I'm getting shot. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, take a look what has changed there. And uh, yeah, over there, the, the cobweb shop. I already bought some cobwebs, uh, first of all, to repair a damage that I made to the tent. And uh, secondly, because I need some for the guardian farm, because I changed the design a little bit. I don't think that we will do it next episode. I think uh, I will need a little bit of a break. So, um, yeah, next episode, I don't really know what I want to do. Maybe uh, we'll do something together with the other people of the server. Maybe go to the end. I can't really tell by now. But uh, let us quickly uh, take some stuff from the storage area. And since I don't want to spoil the secret button, I will just go in like this and um, 
take some diamonds. Let's do a diamond pick and uh, maybe I could need a new shovel as well. So diamond pick and shovel. Let's do this. And I also uh, made an XP farm in between the episode with some others and uh, I didn't show it on camera I guess but it's just a skelly spawner but because it was quite close to bedrock um, we had to make a new design. I thought that I would just do my own, uh, old design that I'm always doing but since it's so close to bedrock I couldn't uh, fit in everything so now um, I made a new design and then I had the idea of uh, using dogs in the XP farm and uh, by now I have a tutorial online that um, wait let me concentrate on what I'm searching for ores yeah <laughs> a tutorial on um, a dog XP farm so you can fully AFK which is quite cool and uh, we'll definitely get some dogs here and uh, rebuild a, li a little bit so we can use dogs for getting XP. Let's see. Efficiency 4 and on this one efficiency 4. Let's do the shovel first. And the pick is now <laughs> again. I have so many of these by now. Silk touch unbreaking. It's quite useless in my opinion because why would you need silk touch and unbreaking on a pick? Maybe I can use it for getting some packed ice because that's also something I need uh, for the ocean monument and let me replace the door but uh, yeah I guess that uh, all these material gathering and um, yeah, setting up stuff I will do in between the episodes and next time we'll do something fun I guess and without a big project behind it because yeah, we are having so many big projects. That's also some stuff that I have planned for the base later on, but that's also quite huge. But uh, yeah, step by step everything. So uh, let's quickly see. That's the Skyper Skits house. Um, that is Lewis's uh, shack. And here's Moga Onadia starting to build something. Era with a skeleton. Era Dua. Rooster, Nemson, Blue Echo, Arrow, Bunny over there. No, that's Possum, the one that you can see. The one behind is Bunny. And uh, there we have Beachmaster and um, Tweak Chemist. So, yeah, that's how Spawn looks right now. Just a quick tour. I think it's getting along. People are setting up mailboxes and there are plans for a town center hall cave thing. But uh, I guess that uh, I should wrap things up now since I'm running out of time. So I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. And I will see you in the next video.